Hello Arnold fans, I thought I'd do a little video and um, show you guys these two Arnold Premium formats that I'm talking about in the thread there. I used to post on Arnold fans oh, ages ago. Um, hello to all the guys on the board and let's have a look and, um, at these two PFs. Some of you guys might have them already so you know about it, but if you haven't, and you haven't seen PFs at all, then have a look, because I think it's worth getting into them. These are the two Arnold PFs so far. I've got a T2 up in the front there, and obviously there's Conan over the back. They're meant to be coming out with a, with a new PF from the first Terminator film, Perhaps this year, I don't know. We saw a sketch of the prototype came out in Comic Con last year, so hopefully we get a look at the prototype soon. I don't know. I don't know how fast these guys work, but that's an automatic buy for me. Let's have a look at Cone at first. I don't know. You can still. Maybe get him off Sideshow at the moment. I don't know why this guy wasn't snapped up. I think he's amazing. I think he's probably the, my favourite PF. You get the sword there all... Bloodied up his arm as well and... Maybe could have had a bit more blood on his body. There's a pretty cool custom in the... Um, on the Sideshow Freaks board which... Shows a custom job that someone's done a bit more blood and and stuff. He's obviously coming down the stairs in in Thulsa Doom's lair, which is a pretty pretty good spot to take the the statue for. One thing about this that's really impressive is the base. I mean, you get this, you get the one, two, three steps there. And you get the whole, what is it called, balustrades or, I don't, know, I don't know. And this is all solid polystone, made to look like marble. But Jesus is heavy. I had a tough time getting hold of one of these. I couldn't get one from, site, from um, the shop that I usually get them from in America because they said Australia's got these shipping restrictions for certain things and it was too big, it was too heavy or whatever so I had to get it from a local guy I don't know how he got it in anyway such as the, the joys of collecting elsewhere around the world look at the back <clears throat> that is capturing Arn it is almost his peak when he's in Conan. His little groovy loincloths all, all sort of furry. He's got a belt there. Pants. Pants are all scuffed up and dirty. You can see they're all, like I say, these are all this is all material, all cloth. Boots are polystone, they're not. Um, they're sculpted, they're not they're not material. Scabbard was was um, polystone as well. Mine I was shattered, mine came. Um, and the scabbard was snapped around here. So I was like, oh man, alive, what am I gonna do? Because it's like I'm not gonna get another one in Australia probably. I ended up gluing it and um, it came out alright. You can't tell that it was broken now. Anyway, that's Conan. He's fucking fantastic. If you ask me, I don't know why he hasn't been snapped up. People were worried about the scale of him. They thought he looked a bit small for quarter scale. I don't know, maybe. Anyway, I think it rules. Let's have a look at Terminator 1. Again, the likeness is amazing. 
down. And he's obviously in the Cyberdyne building somewhere. You see the base there. Base not, not so impressive for this one. I don't know what all that is around there. Mm -hmm. Tiles there look all right, but the rest of it isn't impressive. We've got these boots there. These little zippers actually work. I didn't know that. My wife showed me that. She said, oh yeah, they work, yeah, yeah. I said, no, they don't, but they do. Nade launcher there. People said it's a pretty, said it was a static pose. It's not much action. And I was saying, yeah, Terminator isn't a, you know, he doesn't flail his arms around and get into trouble. He knows exactly what he's going to do at all times. So I think it's a spot on pose. Jacket's all material. We'll get too much light in the background there. T shirt material also. Go around the back, he's got bullet holes in the back. He's been shot up by the SWAT team. The belt there. Grenades all, that belt all moves, the grenades come out as well. I won't take them out. But yeah, he is also fantastic and I can't wait for the new one from Terminator 1. Anyway, there's those two Arnold PFs. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a look at my other videos if you're if you're a PF collector yourself or just a, a collector of other movie stuff in general. I've got some other videos up on my channel. Um, looking at my other stuff, I've got some other PFs. I've got as well Ash from Army of Darkness, being that my username is Bruce Campbell's chin. I've got um, oh, a few Indiana Jones ones now. Um, Rambo, I've got the Rambo one, a couple of Star Wars ones, um, Lord of the Rings Berserker, which is incredible. Hellboy, he's rad. The Patient Zero Zombie. So please have a look if you're keen. I'll post one of my other collection ones up, but I'll try and keep this Arnold exclusive. Thanks again, guys. See you on the boards.